Now in this question, Jody works at a factory that produces square tiles. And what we're going to do is just draw a diagram, sketch a diagram of a square here. And if the square has side length 1, that means each side is 1, then the perimeter is going to be 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, so the perimeter will be 4. And if the perimeter is 2, then if sorry, the side length is 2, then the perimeter is going to be 8. And if it's 3, then it's going to be 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, which is 12. Perimeter of a square with side length 4 would be 16. And if the side length is 5, it'll be 20. And so in this question, describe what happens to perimeter. Now the next question was to describe what happens to the perimeter of each tile when side length increases by 1 centimeter. So when we go from 1 to 2, we go from up four, out from 4 to 8, so that's an increase of 4. We go from 2 to 3, and then we go up another uh, 4. So the answer to, the to that is that as length of the side increases by one centimeter, the perimeter of the square increases by four centimeters. Now the next question, you have to um, look at these, the table here and we're gonna graph it. But first of all, we have to decide which is our independent variable. And it's important that you remember that our independent variable is the one that determines the value of the dependent variable. So the question here is, does side length determine perimeter, or does perimeter determine side length? And the answer to that is that side length determines the value of the perimeter. So that means that side length then is the independent variable, and perimeter is the dependent variable. Okay, so now to graph this, a side length is the independent variable, so recall that side length goes on the horizontal axis because that's where the independent variable goes. So we have side length and on the horizontal, um, sorry, the horizontal axis we have side length and the units are centimeters and on the vertical axis we have perimeter and the units are centimeters and so we go got to go for side length from 0 up to 5 so we're going to skip every other one and it'll be 1 2 3 4 and 5 because we want to use as much of the grid as possible and for the perimeter, we've got to go up to 20, and there's 10 here, so we're going to go up by 2s, but I'm only going to label every other one. So 4, 8, this one will be 12, it's hard to read, 16, and the top will be 20. So we can plot our points. So when the side length is 1, the perimeter is 4. When the side length is 8, the perimeter is, sorry, when the side length is 2, the perimeter is 8. When the side length is 3, the perimeter is 12. When the side length is 4, the perimeter is 16. And when the side length is 5, the perimeter is 20. And if we draw a line through those points, then we've got our graph and we should put a title. So this is going to be just perimeter of tiles. Now, uh, we have to calculate the first differences. And what we want to know when we look at first differences is what we are increasing or decreasing by. And we can calculate the first difference by subtracting the second number from the first. So it's four, 8 minus 4, which is 4. So in other words, we're going here from 4 to 8 up 4. And so from 8 to 12, we're going up 4 as well. 
12 to 16, we're going up 4, and 16 to 20, we're going up 4 as well. Now, so our first difference here is 4, and if when it says, what do you notice about the first difference? First difference is, I want you to notice that they are constant, and that's the most important word here, that the first differences are constant. And um, going on to the next question, uh, we're supposed to summarize when side length increases by one centimeter, the perimeter increases by four centimeters. The plot of points suggest a linear relationship. The first differences are the same, it's four. And if we're gonna look at the slope of the line, let's take a look at the slope between these two points. We'll look at the rise and the run. So we're going from 4 up to 12. So that's a rise of 8. And we're going from 1 over to 3. So that's a run of 2. So the slope of the line, remember, is rise over run. And that's equal to 8 over 2, which is 4. And what you should notice is that our 4 is our first difference. And we're going to learn about that a little bit more about that later on. And the slope of the line then, we said is 4. The y-intercept here is 0. So we can write the equation of this line as y equals 4x and we could put plus zero, but we don't need to. Or we could just write this as P for perimeter, because remember, P perimeter is on our y-axis up here. So this perimeter is equal to four times the side length, 4s. So perimeter is equal to four times the side length of the square.